Okay, it is now 11 minutes after 10. Um, it took me three Lysol wipes. Um, the second one was still coming out yellow. Um, there was a handprint on the cloth after I was done wiping. Um, but the third sheet came out clean with just a minor residue, which means it's now clean. Uh, so now I'm just going to go get a wet, wet, soaking wet cloth with quite a lot of water. And I just drench this place a bit. And then I'll take another cloth and clean it. Um, this will just rinse the Lysol scent off of the cage. Um, as you know, that Lysol, uh, people say don't use it because of animals. Because there's something like, some I don't know what that word is. I can't pronounce it. But basically, it's the same thing that you see. Um, it starts with a P. Uh, it's the same thing with the pine or uh, cedar. Um, the wood. The bedding I'm talking about. Um, but if you rinse it, it's okay. I've asked a vet. It's actually okay. Um, <clears throat> that I did ask a vet. See, I'm, <laughs> I, I will invest in a vet's opinion, like, if it's worth it. But <laughs> I don't really want to take the vet and get the thing snipped because it was really expensive. Um, so it's actually in my best interest to not keep a male. I think I'd just go with two females if I ever get another guinea pig. Um, and if they don't bond, well, I just, I guess I have to be careful just where I get the animal from. Get it from a place that will accept it back. You know, no questions asked. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really happy. It actually did not take too long, but I'm not happy with the duct tape. So I will have to go get some different kind of duct tape because as you can see right here, this is not duct tape, but I mean, I, I didn't buy a cheap duct tape. They said that this duct tape probably expired, like the ones that they were selling. So it's not that I got a bad duct tape, like a brand. It's just that, um, because I was like, wow, for two and fifty, it still sucks. And they're like, well, we've actually never heard any complaints with this duct tape. I was like, well, this doesn't look like duct tape. <clears throat> if you stick it together and you can pull it back apart easily <clears throat> with like two fingers, I said, this isn't duct tape. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to go rinse this and then I'm going to go put the bedding back. And then I'm going to wash every little tiny accessory that goes back in this cage so that there's no urine scent. Because I don't want to attract uh, Mocha to pee in those spots again. I want to make sure she gets the idea that only the potty's for peeing. It might take another few weeks because uh, she's been corrupted a little bit. Uh, she's gotten used to peeing all over the cage. Um, personally, I don't know if I'd rather she peed in the cage or what. But, um, I mean, there's a benefit to that, obviously, because that's what the cloth is for. But if she was potty trained, I wouldn't have to change the cloth every week. I could do it every two weeks because there's nothing wrong with it. And all I'd have to do is move the bedding and then vacuum the powder, the cookie, uh, the eating food residue, and it would be good for another week. I don't have to wash it every week. I could do it every two weeks. But because she pees in here, I definitely want to remove it after one week. So yeah, okay, that's it.